I've been a part of our family printing company for decades. We do a lot of different kinds of, of printing, but it wasn't until I saw letterpress printing that I fully felt connected to my roots, to my heritage, to something authentic, to something I could feel. And while I can't show, show it in a, in a movie or a video, um, I can just say how, um, how it has affected me. My passion for letterpress began decades ago when I would use some of the lead from font cabinets for my Pinewood Derby cars. My dad would open these ancient looking cabinets and select a few pieces of the metal for my car. And as I joined our third generation family printing company, I really liked the range of printing that we offered and what it could provide for our customers. But letterpress printing was the first printing process that caused an emotional response for me. I had been reading about the resurgence of letterpress printing and I was intrigued as I felt somewhat of a calling to return to our roots. And what finally pushed me over the edge, oddly enough, was a really heavy movie with Will Smith called Seven Pounds. A character in the movie operated two old letterpresses in her garage. My first press that I purchased was a Heidelberg windmill out of a print shop in Port Huron, Michigan. My original vision was to just have a space to show our employees and customers where our printing roots came and to have some fun with a hobby. But that quickly grew into a desire to establish a letterpress studio. Knowing that the success and the growth of the studio was limited by my experience, I looked for help. John W. Sanders, a true letterpress craftsman and the heart and soul of Atlantic Press Printing, began anchoring the new formed letterpress studio of Utley Brothers, appropriately named Atlantic Press. Letterpress has been a passion of mine ever since uh, I can remember. I, I grew up in a letterpress shop and I went through the transition of offset and quick print and all the direct image plating, but uh, this is where my heart is, it's definitely in letterpress. Letterpress printing is a controlled collision of two heavy surfaces. One side has a, a raised, inked up image. The other holds a really nice piece of paper. And what happens when they collide is where all the magic happens. The resulting piece of paper is not just ink on paper, but it is ink smashed so deeply into paper that it's, it's amazing. The only thing that I want to correct uh, Andy on is that it's not smashing, it's leaving a deep impression. Deep impression. Deep. Deep. Deep impression. Deep. Deep impression. We have drawers of wood and metal type fonts, which we love to open for our guests to our occasional letterpress events. And while the type fonts we, were used by my grandfather and by John's dad, our modern letterpress printing is accomplished using polymer plastic dyes adhered onto a metal base. The result is an unmistakable deep impression. Flexibility of the artwork, it's more fun, it's playful. I mean, I'm a graphic designer by trade and every job has to be perfectly printed. And with the letterpress, I can let the quirks happen and know it's handmade. I truly believe that this will come back. It brings you back to the basics of what design can be. The written word is underrated, and to be able to hold something in your hand where, you know, it's personalized, it's custom, and you can actually touch and feel the imprint of letterpress is, um, it's an art these days. And it has been a sheer pleasure to watch a true craftsman do what he has done for decades. It is, it's magical, and it's been fun to watch John take over the studio and make it his own. It's been an absolute blessing. For both of us. Letterpress printing, it's slow, it's expensive, but it is so worth it.